Welcome to Go Mustang Sports. I'm Dave McHugh, joined by field hockey coach Laurel Martin after another pretty successful week. Team is off to a program best 5-1 start to the season thanks to wins over Goucher and St. Mary's this past week. Um, first and foremost, congratulations on thanks. the start to the season. The team's got to be excited just about how this how the first six games have gone. They are. They are. They're learning how to win and they're excited and they're bonding together and uh, it's a good group to have. Um, the, we talked about the Goucher game being a you got to come ready for it because the Rowan game was so big. Mm -hmm. Overtime win over a perennial power, uh, you know, always considered in the top 25. You got Goucher coming who's good. You don't want to rest on your laurels. The way that game kind of worked out, it looked like the team just White wasn't yeah. ready for Goucher. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's a tough game to bounce back to. And, and the girls knew it and the coaching staff, we knew it. And um, you know, we did not perform up to our ability, but Goucher's good. And mm -hmm. Goucher's going to surprise some players um, and some teams. So um, we were able to pull off the win in overtime. And um, so that was one of those, okay, yes, we did it. And, um, and, I, and we've grown from that. And we've learned from that game. And uh, we've we've become stronger because of it. And barely, yeah, it was right near yeah, the end yeah, of it. I know, just barely. barely. Let's not that talk one. about that. I'm just saying, it was barely. a few seconds <laughs> left. Finally yeah, got that game winner yeah, in there. Yeah. Uh, of course, that momentum again, another home game, certainly building towards uh, a great season, and that went into St. Mary's. What what was the message to the team? Okay, we we beat Rowan. We barely got past Goucher. St. Mary's, our former conference foe on the horizon. How do you prepare the team for that game? I mean, this team is, uh, I love this, this team is a top team. They need challenged, and they need to be held accountable, um, at, it seems like every second. Um, but they react well to it. You know, coming into the game against St. Mary's, we never beat them. And I knew that coming in as a coach, and I wanted to make that transition to prove that we're getting stronger and better. And um, the team knew that. And we, uh, we, we played a, a decent first half, but not what we're capable of. And I, and I need us to play what we're capable of every single second of the game, and we're getting there. Um, second half, we came out, and, and we showed who we really are. So you get a solid win, 4-1. Four, Four different players score yeah, that in that nice. game. That, I was going to say, as yeah. a coach, that's, you got to feel good about the fact that now you're starting to show some more weapons. Yeah, yeah, and definitely, I mean, and uh, everyone's starting to step it up a little bit. I'm asking for my outside midfielders to overlap and be more of a scoring threat, and my other forwards, besides Kaylin Dempsey, she shoots all the time, and right. she's wonderful at doing that, Sure. and we love that. And um, but but I keep telling my other fours, you know, shoot as much as she does. Keep shooting. Let's pepper that that goalie, and they're getting it, and they're starting to do it more. And now we're seeing we're seeing a, a more of a well-rounded um, forward attack. You know? and, and certainly that's going to change the opinions of teams you're going to have to face when they start to scout you. That's got to be something yeah. you like too. You, yeah. you realize maybe Dempsey's going to start opening up a little bit because you have other threats. Lighten the load on Dempsey because yeah. they got other people to worry about. It'll be good. You also haven't given up that many goals uh, in this in this season so far. Really nice average. The goalie's playing really well for you guys. Yeah, yeah. We have a, um, a very strong goalie unit. Not only our starting goalie, but our backup goalies yeah. as well. And i um, uh, very pleased with, uh, with, with Gabby's effort. She is a commander-in-chief back there. She just demands excellence out of her players and, and is very verbal um, and certainly an athletically gifted goalie as well. So you now look at the week ahead. Mm -hmm. You actually go on the road for one game, which yeah. is a little bit down the road at yeah, McDaniel. Sort of a road trip. So, it's, you know, it's interesting. Last year we talked about all the road games. This year it's all about the home games. Right. You do have a road game here with McDaniel, and then you'll finish up back home again it's against, uh, here against Susquehanna. Uh, or Shenandoah, I should say. Let me back up and go to McDaniel, though. A tough team. Mm -hmm. You guys have not necessarily come out of W's when you face the Green Terror. What do you have this year that maybe changes that tide and allows you to get a win out there in Westminster? Um, well... Certainly our mentality is stronger. Um, the kids have learned how to win, and the kids have learned how to expect to win. Um, and finding a way to create that success um, is different this year than it has been in, in years past. So that was that's good. Um, we have speed. We have aggression. Um, and, uh, you know, McDaniel's going to give us a fight. I know that. Um, I, I know they're players. And, yeah. and, and, um, and they're going to give us a fight. So it's just a matter of can we execute like I know we can. And of course, under the lights up there, mm -hmm. um, nothing majorly different there, but still being at their facility and changes things certainly after you've been at home for a while. But then you do return home again on Saturday, right. uh, the, the end of a triple header here yeah. at Mustang Stadium against Shenandoah. 
this is a team that you've told me is up and coming. This is a team that can can get the right team if if you're not prepared. Yeah, I mean, similar to Goucher, that's improving every year. Shenandoah, there's a new coach on board there as well. She's improving their program. They're playing a nice style. Um, she's upsetting some teams that are used to defeating Shenandoah. So that is, uh, there's no games we can take lightly at this point in stage. So that'll be a battle as well. Of course, uh, we talked last time about the lightning delays between women's right. soccer and yourselves and how that dragged the night on mm -hmm. uh, in your game against Rowan, <laughs> adding in overtime to make it even more fun. This time around with Shenandoah, you've got a football game earlier in the day, you've got another soccer game to follow that, and then you guys on top of that, not a lot of wiggle room. How do you get your team prepared for the, I would say, the inevitable delay that could occur to your game? Yeah, we, um, we, we really just don't even focus on it until it happens. And then if it happens, we, we react accordingly um, and just take it light and easy. Um, and we, uh, my big focus is during the day, making sure the girls are eating properly, hydrating properly, and, and resting. We don't want them out in the sun all day for the football game, that sort of a thing. Five and one start. Obviously, you have a number of good players. We talked about Caitlin Dempsey. We mm -hmm. talk about her often, but there's other players that are stepping up and really having great seasons so far. Meg Gill, better known as Marge, certainly yeah. is one of those. Yeah, yeah. Marge is. Um, uh, she's. She's. Uh, doing some really wonderful things for us on the defensive end and um, she plays an attacking um, defender as well um, and her fitness level her stamina and and just her heart I mean that kid never gives up um, is one of those things that you would you love to have on your team of course she's just one part of that defense that's playing well yeah yeah um, we have hop back as a defender again um, and uh, she is just a wonderful um, the, those two, the, the combination of Marge and Hop back there on the back end, it's a difficult process to get through for the opponents. Um, those two are relentless, and Hop's got great skill and a great ability to fine-tune some, some balls out from the backfield, and Marge just runs and runs and runs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nothing so, wrong with that. So it's, it's, it's a good combination. Well, congratulations again on a great start. Best in program history at 5-1. and one. Again, on the road Tuesday night at McDaniel before returning home uh, Saturday night against Shenandoah here at Mustang Stadium. For Coach Laurel Martin, I'm Dave McHugh. We'll catch up with the field hockey team next week once again here on Go Mustang Sports.